I'm Tom Codd. I'm the Director of Marketing for the Global Enterprise Business, and I'm here today to talk to you about HP's uh, environmental uh, strategy and how we can help customers reduce their impact on the environment. I want to briefly just start with what we're doing in um, uh, what we've been doing with from the Hewlett Packard company standpoint for many years. This whole environmental space is not something that we just decided to talk about. We've been very involved with the environment. Uh, in fact, it's been a core part of our our uh, global citizenship uh, since 1950. And I'm not going to go through all the details on this slide, but you can read through a couple of the milestones. And it's really intended to show that this is not something that just occurred this year or even last year. It's something that we've been, has been very involved, a very big part of Hewlett Packard since the, uh, the 50s. Um, some of the big you know, highlights I want to just point out though, in 1987 we were the first IT company to actually uh, have a recycling program to take back not only HP hardware but uh, competitors hardware as well. And so all you have to do is just call HP, we'll send the truck out, you know, pick up your pick up, uh, equipment to be recycled. In fact, we hit a milestone of a billion pounds of recycled equipment uh, just last year and we're looking to double that to two billion pounds by 2010. A couple other things uh, on that middle column, Instant On technology is a printing technology that cuts power usage in laser printers by half, and I'll talk about that more later in the presentation, but that was another innovation that we provided. And then more recently, uh, from since the, two, the early uh, 2000s, you can see some of the highlights there. I mentioned that one billion pounds uh, uh, recycled equipment. Uh, we have a couple of other programs there that we have also uh, rolled out uh, since the since the 2000s. Uh, so anyway, let's um, move through. Uh, really, how we when we think about the environmental area, there's we think about it as kind of in this framework where you know we have some things in our own house that we that we need to focus on to make sure that Hewlett Packard Company is a very environmentally friendly company. And it's a big part of our brand, and we want our customers to recognize HP as a leader in this area. So there's a lot of things we're doing internal to HP around energy efficiency and resource con conservation recycling, uh, into light programs on equipment, uh, and we have a lot of goals in that area that I'll talk about in a second. The other half of the framework is that we want to make sure we provide our customers with technologies, solutions, tools to allow them to get their house in order and from an environmental standpoint. Uh, in the areas of energy resource uh, and, and savings, you know, digitally green alternatives, uh, alternatives of alternative ways to do business, uh, like this Halo conference room is a great example. You know, in the past you used to have to get on an airplane and I would have to fly down to Palo Alto to meet you. Now I can sit in Boise and, and avoid that travel and that's, you know, reducing the amount of carbon emitted in the atmosphere. And then also helping customers with reuse and recycling programs. So our belief is that we, you know, together getting, getting our house in order, getting our customers' house in order, we're going to have a better world because we're all going to have less of an impact on the environment. Uh, just real briefly, you know, in the environmental area means different things to different customer segments. Uh, you know, for the enterprise, it's how do you help big customers uh, reduce the impact of big fleets of printers? We have a lot of our enterprise customers that have thousands of printers on a network, and you can imagine, you know, how much power they're consuming, how much paper they're consuming. So they really want to make sure that they are uh, having programs in place to minimize uh, the impact on the environment and, and minimizing their carbon footprint. For consumers, uh, it's really about helping them select the right product that helps them uh, save energy and, and, and then also making them aware of how do they recycle cartridges, toner cartridges and ink cartridges. And then so we, we do that by providing very simple uh, packaging uh, techniques, things like the, like the um, eco highlights label that I'll talk about in a second. Uh, and then the graphic arts area, you know, the equipment, the printing equipment in these segments, that is their business. That printing press is what they that they generate their their uh, print for revenue from, and so they want to make sure that that's also an environmentally friendly process, because uh, their customers are demanding that of them them as well. And then with SMBs, uh, small businesses, you know, they they want to focus on the environment, but it can't cost much. You know, you know, they can't you can't provide or you can't add additional costs to their their printing and imaging environment. Now let's dive a little bit deeper, deeper on you know what we're doing to help our customers, uh, helping helping them with technologies and, and alternatives and re reuse and recycling. Um, we we really have uh, you know one goal, and that is with our customers, we want to make sure it's very easy for them to make smart choices when they when they purchase uh, printing and imaging uh, devices, uh, and we want to make sure that we are 
allowing them to have visibility to technologies that allow them to save energy. Uh, we also want to make sure that they have visibility to our product recycling programs and then also uh, provide digitally green alternatives to them as well. And so in the center of this bubble, we'll talk about the Eco Highlights label. It's IPG is going to be the first um, uh, entity within HP to, to include this label. Uh, and then we'll also talk about a lot of elements of our new Eco Solutions program that really helps deliver on all three of these areas. So I'm going to start with just a couple of goals that we have with HP. One is, um, you know, we want to improve the energy efficiency of our laser jet products by ending jet products by 40 percent by by the uh, year 2011. You know, we we had an earlier goal of 30 percent, and we've reached that. We're going to drive that to a 40 percent reduction by. Two, uh, by 2011. That's a reduction over 2005. So remember, Instant On Technology was introduced in 1991. So all of those great power savings and energy savings, that all happened between 1991 and 2005. We're talking about additional, since 2005, additional technologies, additional techniques in our devices to drive that up by 40 percent. And we'll talk, in 2005, we set that goal. We thought that was a pretty high mark. Um, but we were able to make more progress against that goal than we originally thought. And now we've, we've be introducing new technologies, auto on, auto off, that allow us to get another 10%. Another goal we have is by 2010, we're going to increase the amount of recycled material in our inkjet products by three times. So that's a pretty aggressive goal, relative to 2007. Uh, we're going to be uh, ensuring that 100% of our photo paper comes from sustainable forest certified suppliers by 2009. And we already have that goal, we already have reached that milestone with our office papers. Now we're going to drive that into our photo papers as well. And then finally, we want to drive to a new milestone of having over 250 million ink and laser cartridges recycled by the fall of 2008. Uh, today, we have about 198 million. Uh, and so we're going to drive that to 250 by fall 2008. And so that's uh, since so 1991, is that the 250 million? Yes, yeah, since the Planet Partners program started in 1991. Excuse me, the Eco Highlights label. Uh, and so this will be uh, rolling out on the LaserJet 4015 and 4515 products, as well as the DeskJet 2545 uh, product. And this label is going to be on packaging, on the web, uh, on, on data sheets, and it really outlines all of the features that, uh, that uh, uh, make these products less environmentally impactful. Um, so things like Instant On Technology, Energy Star, Advanced Toner Technology, you know, all the benefits. So, when customers are looking for, for alternatives, this will help them make a smarter choice because they'll be able to see up front that these products are designed to be environmentally friendly. And you'll see this roll out across the, uh, the printer line as well as out across HP uh, on servers, PCs, etc. We're just starting now with the, with the printing products. But this is something some that we're committed to across the company. Uh, our goal is to be the most environmentally responsible IT company uh, out there. It's very clear that we want to put a stake in the ground, and uh, we believe we have a lot of uh, great proof points to support that. Um, and then, you know, we want uh, we want our customers to use the tools and technologies that I've shown you today uh, to go out and uh, re reduce their carbon footprints in, in their in their usage of their devices. And we've uh, I think demonstrated some of the tools uh, like the carbon footprint calculator that can help customers uh, get their arms around that and figure out ways to to reduce that. Very important to understand that this is not something we decided to just wrap a green label around everything that HP does. I mean, because we have been uh, implementing programs uh, since, you know, again, the 50s. When we started off, we made it part of our, we have what we call a global citizenship um, uh, framework for HP. And there's three pillars to it. One is being ethical, you know, being an ethical company. Two is make sure we, we contribute to all the communities that we operate in. Uh, by donating time, dollars, uh, people to, uh, to local causes. And the third is that we're going to be environmentally um, uh, mindful and conscious in making sure that we, uh, whatever we do has a, has a minimal impact on the environment. And that includes, uh, you, know, you know, manufacturing processes, our products, etc. So again, this is, I mean, our, yeah, our competitors are out talking about it now, but, uh, you know, we've been talking about this since 1950. So I guess that would be the big, the big difference I would have.